I've been an advocate for years with couples, whether they're living together or uh, married and living together, however you'd say that. Anyway, about couples having a joint account. I also believe that couples should each have their own accounts, but that having a joint account is a really smart thing for a couple to have. And I think it builds a stronger bond. And that's always just been a subjective thing. I've always felt that way. Well, now there's an academic paper that is in the Journal of Consumer Research that's done by Oxford. I guess that's Oxford University in England, but found in a multi-year study that a marriage, and they were doing marriage, not couples, living together for simplicity. That's what they were doing. But they found a very, very strong correlation in the strength of the marriage over time of people who had a joint account versus couples who had kept their finances separately and private from each other through their marriage, that the relationship is much stronger. And they found, interestingly enough, they found that the romantic nature of a relationship steadily uh, was better in a relationship where there was a joint account at the center of dealing with uh, household expenses than, uh, than couples that kept everything separately. That it actually made the relationship from the romantic standpoint stronger. It's all about trust, right? How important that is. The second thing was that by having a joint account, there's a lot of internal narratives we have where we're talking to ourselves internally and we think one thing and our partner thinks something else. And we just stay in our own orbits. But you have that joint account and you see suddenly a bill come in. Uh, let me tell you, my wife and I have had this conversation. You just have a bill come in and it's like, what was this? And you talk about it. And you talk about what's important. And, and my wife and I work on our finances together, something we didn't used to do and now we do. And I find it's, it's created much more uh, trust with finance because we talk about things. You know, we really shouldn't be doing that right now because, or this would be a good time to do that because. And so the having the joint account forces conversations and that it strengthens the relationship. And then there's something else. They talk about the communal nature that, you know how, um, depending on who you got married by, part of the vows might be something along the lines or the, um, the priest, the minister, the preacher, the rabbi, the imam, or whatever, or whoever you got married by, whether it's religious or not, they'll say something, two are now one, and that's always part somehow of so many of the vows, that when you merge into a joint account, that it really does have those, uh, what they call communal benefits of two and one. But again, it doesn't mean I think everything should be put together. There are direct advantages for multiple reasons that you should have their account and then each having, you know, the house account and then each having their own stuff. I shared the example many years ago when um, my dad died in the 1980s and everything in that era was in my dad's name. My mom didn't have any credit. She didn't have anything and had to start over, and it was not easy. And so that's one of the reasons why having uh, the joint and then the separate in a couple is really smart from a financial and a personal standpoint. And, and I know it's always a negative to say, but half of uh, marriages don't last, and in relationships, less than half last. So having some separate 
in addition to whatever joint you do, important from that negative standpoint. 